Hey guys, welcome back to another video on this weird and wonderful AR channel. In this video, I want to share with you uh, my workflow that I have been using in various different situations when I want to batch run um, a series of prompts, a series of different prompts that I have created beforehand and I want it to cycle through automatically and I don't want to have to sit there and uh, click Q each time um, and then wait and see. Uh, I want it to uh, run and change and move up in terms of the, the prompt. So cycle through all the prompts, for example, you see here. So I'm going to walk you through this workflow and explain how I do this. Um, I have an external file. So this is a file which contains a bunch of prompts. You've got, you know, if you go to the bottom, there's about 40 lines, so 40 prompts in this file. And I've got another bunch of prompts here in a text file. So what this workflow lets me do is choose between what I want to load. I want to load an external file, which I can point to, or I want to load from this multi-line um, string field, right? Um, so here, when I choose true, it means that it's going to load from the text file. And the very first time you launch this and import this, it's going to um, run. But I always try to run it first with the reset counter. I want the counter to reset and I don't have anything to program here. It will do basically all the work and calculations for me. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on run here. You'll see it opens the file here and uh, shows me all the prompts. Then it does a count of how many lines it is having. Uh, there's total 40 prompts that it found. And then there is a number counter. So it's going to cycle through starting from zero all the way to the end of, of the prompt. So there's first one has run already and you can see down here the first one has been extracted and fed out so here this is where you would feed this into you know your text prompt somewhere into uh, your clip text encoder or wherever else uh, however else you're building your workflow once I've re reset the counter now it's starting from one so I want it to move to the next one if I leave this on it's just going to stay on the same so if I queue it up again it's going to give me the same prompt nothing changes here um, so I will set it to false and I will hit Q and you see it jumps and moves to the next prompt, right? It cycles through to the next one. Um, next one again, and it moves to the third prompt here, this one here with the sunglasses, right? So now what I want it to do is cycle through all these automatically and get to the end here, which means it'll have done all the generations based on these prompts. So for that, I look at this counter here, 37, and I simply go here and I make this 37 in the queue and I just hit Q. Now this is gonna happen really fast. Watch. You see all those counters increase. This is up to 40, there's zero remaining prompts. And as expected, we're at the final prompt here which is this one. So this could be going into the clip text encoder and you could have the diffusion going and all your prompts basically executing one by one and generating the outputs that you need. So next, let's say I'm going to run through a small batch of prompts and I have those here. Uh, let's grab some. Okay, so let's grab these, and copy these and I'm going to paste them into my workflow here. These are the new prompts that I want to run. But because I have them here in this field, I don't want it running in from a text file. So I will set this to false. I will reset my counter so it goes back to one and we can start. I want to change the batch down again to one Q and we have the first prompt as you can see. <laughs> Same thing again. Now it tells me how many more there are remaining. So it's seven. So that's easy. Set to seven and Q. Boom, boom, boom. It cycles through all of them. So hopefully you can see how um, this can be useful in your own workflow process to go through, cycle through, generate multiple prompts, uh, whether that's for image creation, whether that's for any other kind of uh, text to video generation. You can basically set this up and let it run um, overnight even if you want it. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. And if you've got any questions around this workflow, please leave it down in the comments below. I will provide a link to this workflow in the description of this video so you can download it and try it out or integrate it into your own workflow. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.